Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Bath & Body Works haul featuring some new spring for 2021 since it is now officially 2021. Happy New Year guys! But yeah, I got my hands on some of the new spring candles and a couple body care items. And I know I'm going to get questions about it, but they have the candles out. They are full price. I did exchange some of mine for these so I could get them to review for you guys, which yeah, you can exchange candles. I do it from time to time if it's, if I know it's going to be a while until they have a candle sale. But I try not to bring in like super old ones. I usually do more recent ones to exchange. And then they do have some new body care launching soon soon. Some stores have them out already, but a lot of stores, I guess, are told not to put them out yet. So I think the official release date for this collection, I think it's called Big Shop Collection possibly, is January 17th. But some stores might have these out early. I asked my associate and she did grab them from the back for me, but she, I don't know, she was very hesitant to like saying it was like a company thing that they couldn't put them out or whatever, but I was going to pay full price for them anyway. So I don't know. I got them. So there's that. I know some stores have them out, so I don't see what the big deal is, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up and my thoughts on these new scents. So when they do come out, you can know if it's something you want to get, if they do launch online and you're not able to find them in store. And then I do have a few things too um, that I picked up from their semi-annual sale, a couple things I found at a different store. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go over the body care first. I just grabbed the lotions. I just paid the full price for them. They're $13.50 each. There will be more in the collection like body creams, fragrance mist, but I just thought I would test out the lotions and see how they are because this collection looked so good. I love like in the springtime, they usually do something like sweet shop. So I usually go really crazy for these. I love anything that smells really sweet. I love vanilla bakery scents, so I'm all about it. So first up, we have the Coconut Cream Pie Lotion. Looks like this. Love the packaging. This one has notes of toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. So I wore this one all day yesterday, and I will say when I first smell this, I definitely get Christmas cookie vibes. Like this smells like Christmas cookies. Merry cookie, if you guys bought that this year in the minis. But... It is a little bit different. So it does have somewhat of a coconut aspect to it, but it's nothing overpowering. I don't like super coconutty scents. So when it dries down, I do get a little bit of that coconut. I feel like it's not as strong as the Christmas cookies was, but I do only have the body cream in that. So that's what I'm kind of comparing it to. But yeah, it seemed like really nice and light and a really yummy cookie and little bit of coconut type of scent. So I do feel like it is a little bit different. I personally really like it. So I might actually pick up the mist in this one as well to have, but very similar to Christmas cookies if you guys are wondering. Next up we have this one, which is the Raspberry Jam Donut. They also have a candle in this one, which you guys will see in a bit. Um, this has notes of wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm fluffy donut. And this one I feel like is also kind of a repackage again. I don't know what is up, but this one I feel like is pretty similar to the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread body care that came out a couple years ago. Now I know a lot of you guys might be excited about that because a lot of people really love that scent and we're hoping it would be back in 2020 which it didn't come back. But yeah this is super similar but I do feel like there is a little bit of difference too. Something about it. It might be more raspberry instead of blueberry but I personally can't tell the difference between those. I know some people can like pick those notes out right away but that is not me. But I do get something a little bit different because I didn't love the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread as much but I feel like I like this one a bit more like it's not as heavy it feels like so I really am liking this one too I'll probably pick up a mist but if you are wondering again I do feel like this is probably a repackage of that one maybe a slight change but super super similar and then we have this one which is the chocolate covered cherry I was so excited for this one it smells amazing in the bottle the notes on this one are rich milk chocolate, red cherries, and sweet liquor. This one I have been wearing today, and it's so funny because one of my friends on Instagram, she said that this smells like baby wipes and pepper on her, and now all I can smell when I put this on is baby wipes. <laughs> so it's, 
it doesn't smell very good on the body. I don't know why, but there's just something about it that it doesn't smell good. And I feel like everyone has noticed this as well. But it smells so good in the bottle. It just doesn't mix well with the body chemistry, I guess. But I will say, once you kind of have it on a bit, like an hour or so, it does fade. That crazy, weird baby wipe scent does fade away, and it does smell a bit better. <laughs> but I think it's like the chocolate that's in here that's kind of messing it up a bit. But it seems like it's kind of a fail. I'm really sad about it. I feel like this happened to me too with the Mocha Cafe line that they had. It just, it turned weird as soon as it hit my skin. But yeah, I don't know. I put some on again, and I, I do feel like it's okay once you wear it for a while. But at first, I don't really care for this one. And I'm really sad about it because I have really high hopes for this. I feel like this whole line, I was just so excited for. And it just seems like, I don't know, the same old stuff we've had. And then this one, just, uh, I don't know. So I really want to try it in the body cream and see if it's different. Sometimes it can vary between what you buy. Maybe the fragrance mist might be better. Sometimes I like the fragrance mist in something, but not the lotion. I don't know, but I'm curious to see your guys' thoughts on this one too, but for now, I, I probably wouldn't recommend that one. I do think I'm going to repurchase some of the coconut cream pie and maybe a couple more things in the raspberry jam donut as well. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the body care. Let's get into the candle. So first up, I feel like people are most excited for this one. The Wildberry Jam Donut in the candle form. I love the jar on this one. It is so pretty kind of super cute for like Valentine's Day. I did burn some of these already, so I kind of have my thoughts on this. I really think that this one is excellent. The notes are sweet wildberry jam, powdered donut, and brown sugar crumble. It does give a little bit of like blueberry pie notes if you guys have that candle, but I feel like this one's a little bit lighter. And I can, it does remind me of a donut. I get like this powdered sugarness from it that totally reminds me of like a raspberry filled donut in my opinion. So I feel like it's pretty accurate to what the name is. And I burned this last night and it burned really good. Strong throw on it. I would definitely recommend this one. I think it is excellent. I think it smells different than the body care. Yeah, they're not the same to me. So I just, I really love the candle. I feel like that was a big win. Also, the coconut cream pie. This one totally smells different, again, in the candle than in the body care. And I was actually impressed with this one because I can really get that pie crust note in here. I feel like this is definitely a newer scent for them. Sometimes they repackage candles, but this one was excellent. I burned this upstairs while I was doing laundry the other day, and it was so strong. And usually I don't like coconut scents, but this one is really sweet and yummy. And it's not too strong of a coconut. I feel like that pie crust in it is just yum. I love it. So it has notes of toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. This is definitely a big winner. So I'm definitely going to be buying backups of this one and the jam donut. Next up we have whipped coffee. I was so excited to see this candle as well come out because I feel like whipped coffee was such a big trend in 2020 and I was guilty of that trend as well. I still love me a good whipped coffee. It's just, it's so yummy. But this one has notes of a shot of espresso, whipped sweet cream, and sugar crystals. I started burning this one today. I have to cut my wicks. I just got done burning it. But I have to say, I'm a little disappointed in this one. I don't really get any coffee notes from this at all. And to be honest, this actually smells like the salted caramel eggnog candle from Holiday. I feel like those two are really similar because I did not like that one. It was too caramely. And this one kind of reminds me of that. I don't love it when it's super sickingly sweet caramel for some reason. So I'm not a big lover of this one. I wish it really did have more of that coffee note. I feel like it would have been so much better for me. But yeah, I don't really get any coffee from this at all. Just super caramely. So those are the ones I burned so far, but I also picked up some more that I still haven't burned yet. This is the Bubbly Rosé. I just thought the packaging on this one was super pretty with this red packaging. It has notes of pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry juice. This one's just a super fruity drink. <sighs> I feel like I've smelled this one before. I'm not sure what it might be a dupe for or a repackage, but it smells like something. I know some of those drink candles can smell very similar, so kind of champagne toast-ish vibes, merry mimosa, those kind of things. Super fruity. You get a little bit of the carbonation notes as well with that one, but I wanted to pick it up to try it. 
Also picked up the iced coconut milk. I didn't smell this one in store, which I probably should have. I just grabbed it because I figured I would like it. But uh, this one has notes of fresh coconut milk, crushed ice, topped with sweet vanilla cream. I love that they include the crushed ice. Like, that's supposed to be a scent. <laughs> Anyways, this one's kind of just smells like regular Bath & Body Works coconut scents. It doesn't smell like anything super new to me. But yeah, it just kind of smells like, what is it? What's their popular coconut scent? I don't really buy a lot of them, so I can't remember or put my finger on the name. Like toasted coconut, maybe? I don't know. I'm not loving it. It's too coconutty, I can tell already. So this one I might exchange for a different one. We will see. And then this one I think is going to be so good. I should have burned it, but I didn't have time. But cold, this is amazing. This is the pink watermelon. You guys, this is the best watermelon candle Bath & Byers has come out with, in my opinion. At least on cold sniff. I still need to burn it and see if it's good. But this is everything I have been wanting. It smells like Jolly Rancher watermelon candy. It is so, so good. Definitely will be buying backups of this. I think um, it's definitely a new watermelon scent in my opinion. It's kind of similar to the watermelon body care they did last year uh, for summer. I can't remember the name, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. But they definitely haven't done this in candle before. It's different than watermelon lemonade because I'm not a fan of watermelon lemonade. That one's like too sour for me, but this one is like candy. It's so yummy. This kind of reminds me too of like watermelon gushers. It's so good. So I cannot wait to burn that one. Definitely a hit. And that is all of the new spring stuff that I picked up. They're still releasing some more things. I've seen some sneak peeks. I love following Scents Galore and Life Inside the Page Daily Finds on Instagram for the new stuff. That's how I always stay up to date. Almost forgot to show you guys my actual like semi-annual sale finds that I've picked up at one of my other stores. I only grabbed three new things, but I did decide to go ahead and buy this True Blue Spa Lotion. I used to have this when it back in the day it's been a while and I just didn't buy it the first time because it was only 50% off and I was like I don't know if I want to pay that much because these are pricey like this was like $11 on sale it's $20 normally but you get a ton of product in here and it's like super rich super heavy type of cream so if you want something that's extremely moisturizing check out true blue spa but the vanilla almond is so good it brings me back I can't believe they came out with this again. I really didn't think it was gone. I thought it was out for this whole time, but I guess they took it away. So I might end up picking up more True Blue Spot if it goes to 75% off, but I try to only get the 75% off fines. And if they do go lower, I'll just do a price adjustment. So hopefully it goes lower in like a week or so, but this stuff is crazy moisturizing. I also got a couple more 75% off items and I don't know why I skipped this. It wasn't marked in my store when I was at the my annual sale but I did want to try the blueberry and strawberry line but I just picked up this blueberry moisturizing body wash because these are sometimes hard to come by. I haven't tried any of the blueberry line so I'm very excited. It smells really good. I should have got more body care in that but that's fine. And then I also found this which I think is kind of rare. It's the white t-shirt scent. I don't think this released nationwide but I found it at a standalone Bath & Body Works store in Council Bluffs, Iowa. They have like a standalone store that's like not in a mall. So I feel like those stores, it's also a white barn. So it had so many more options than my stores did. So I might have to like road trip out there for the next sale. But I got this white t-shirt shower gel. They didn't have any of the other body care because I was a couple of days late, but I was like, dang. Um, but I wanted to try this and see what it's all about. I think it's supposed to be unisex. The notes are crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, <laughs> lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. I can't really tell from the shower gel right now, but it just smells really soapy, if that makes sense. Very fresh. I could see how this would be a unisex scent. So I'll have to try that one out in the shower. I wish I had more to try, but that's okay. That was also 75% off. So that is everything I got at Bath & Body Works the past week. If they mark more stuff down, I'll probably do another haul, but I think I'm pretty set for now unless they release more things. I'll go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.